Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about Moonstone, hence my beautiful Zen garden that I've created here to show you how to make some great Moonstone earrings. Moonstone's a great stone. It's, um, it's mostly noted for being the traveler stone, both physical traveler to keep you safe when you're on the road and also maybe help prevent a little bit of road rage. <laughs> if you had a problem with that, maybe some Moonstone would help. Uh, but it's also for that interior travel, the exploring of yourself and the pieces of you that might be missing to help you find yourself. So it's about travel, but today it's going to be about these great earrings. We're going to make these little guys and they're super easy. First I'm going to take some uh, sterling silver filled wire and I'm kind of frugal so I'm going to use a, a nice big chunk and trim it later. Uh, and all I have to do is put on a bead this is, of course, a moonstone bead, a sterling silver bead, and another moonstone bead. Easier said than done. There we go. And now I'm going to make a wrapped loop. So it starts by making a 90 degree bend here in my, my wire, leaving enough of a tail that I can make my wrapped loop with it. Make a 90 degree bend, looks kind of like that. Now I'm going to use my round nose pliers, create the loop. And I want a pretty big loop, so I'm coming up almost halfway up my pliers. I'm going to wrap the wire up and over the top jaw of my pliers to create the loop. And this one, I'm not going to finish the wrap loop yet. I'm going to add my drop first. So I'm going to put that right in there. And there are a couple ways you can do this now. You can uh, insert your round nose pliers back in there to hold your loop, or you could use some chain nose to hold it tight like that. I like to use the round nose pliers. So I put a round nose plier into there, in my bottom jaw, into the loop. And I'm going to wrap the loop down and around. So now it's all the way around. Okay, don't fall off there. And now this stem here has to wrap around in sort of a coil with each coil right below the previous coil so it makes a spring-like look. Hopefully you can see that. I've got three wraps. Always try and make the same wraps on top as on bottom. I can pull that out. Trim off that extra bit of wire. And I can do a little bit of tweaking to make this a little rounder. It's a little bit wonky. A little wonky. Make it more pretty. There we go. And then I've got my three beads I put on earlier. And now it's time to make another wrap loop on the other end for the ear wire. I'm going to have my little stem. That's where the wraps are going to be. I need to leave a little bit of space there for the wraps. Make a 90 degree bend. Use my round nose pliers to make a loop. I like a pretty big loop. And I'm going to take this wonderful little lotus blossom ear stud. Isn't that cute? Perfect for the mystical journey of Moonstone. By the way, there's lots of different kinds of Moonstone too. This is a a beautifully finished, faceted moonstone with a setting already put on it, but you can find it in the rough. And there's gray, and there's white, and there's peach. And most people find that these, like these rough pieces, are especially good for their spiritual value, even more so than these fancy, polished, finished pieces. And there's lots of different kinds of moonstone. And of course, Fire Mountain Gems has a lot of them. <laughs> Okay, so I've put on this gorgeous little uh, ear stud with the lotus blossom, making this even more spiritual. And now I'm going to make a wrap loop, just like I did previously. Put my bottom jaw in there, wrap the end of that wire around, switch hands so that now I can use my other pair of pliers to wrap the loop around. Get, I don't want to wrap in the ear wire, I just want to wrap the loop. There we go. Just wrapping it like a coil 
a little spring. Go and then trim the excess. You know, besides being the traveler stone, the moonstone is also supposed to help kids with nightmares. So that's a good thought. If you've got a kid who has problems with nightmares, moonstone will help protect them from the internal demons that happen at night sometimes. There we go. And there we have a beautiful moonstone earring. Very classy, very elegant, and yet so simple to make. I hope you enjoy making moonstone earrings or any other gemstone you like to work with. And thanks for joining me at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. Happy beading. Mm -hmm.